Well, 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 everybody, welcome back to Big Boy Variety, the number one channel for sports analysis and everything else in between. Of course, we got to talk about week number three in college football. That is the weekend of September the 19th, as there is a um, lawnmower outside my apartment. Um, but, you know, again, Things are always subject to change. You know, there could be more, you know, videos coming out this week talking about said changes. And we just got to prepare for everything that goes on. But we get started on Friday night with the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers who have come off a big, big win against Kansas, taking on Campbell, who took Georgia Southern to the limit in their game on Saturday. And that game will be on ESPN3 at 7 Eastern, 6 Central. I might watch this game. I might not. It just depends. Um, but then we get to the Saturday slate, which is a lot, you know, bigger this time around. We got more games. Of course, we'll have more games next week with the SEC playing. So it's going to be very interesting. First off, let's start with our big noon Saturday, you know, Fox game which will be the Houston Cougars taking on Charlie Brewer and the Baylor Bears. Um, Baylor's a little bit iffy right now. You know, they've had their first game, you know, canceled and now that's been rescheduled, you know, and Houston was supposed to play against Memphis um, on that Friday, but now this is a Saturday game and they'll be going to Waco. It should be very interesting, should be very fun. I don't know about either of these teams right now because they haven't played a game and it's, again, it's going to be very interesting to see where it goes. As far as the other games that I'm looking at, that I'm keeping my eye on, look out for Chupa Hubbard and Oklahoma State taking on Tulsa. That'll also be at noon Eastern. We'll keep my eye mostly on Navy Tulane, though. But that's just because I love, I love the flex bone triple option spread option offense and it's just always a treat to see and plus Navy needs to bounce back they should they should be practicing now because apparently they didn't practice before the BYU game and that's why they got blown out so bad uh, so yeah those are the three games that keep my eye on at that time frame and of course you know at 2.30 Eastern, we have on the USA of all places due to, you know, NBC's other commitments. USF, the South Florida Bulls, taking on Notre Dame and the Fighting Irish who, you know, this is their one non-conference game. You know, they're in the ACC this year. Ian Book did not look the greatest against Duke. Um, if things go well, you know, for Notre Dame this week, they should be able to get themselves into an offensive you know, they should be getting an offensive clinic out there on, you know, USA. Then we have the preseason favorite of the American Athletic Conference, the UCF Golden Knights. We all know they won a, they technically won a national championship a couple of years back. They'll be taking on Georgia Tech, Jeff Sims, Joff Collins, you know, those guys at Georgia Tech, they're doing this weird mix of, you know, shotgun pro-style offense now and that didn't really work out last year when they went 3-9, and nine, but they got a big victory Georgia Tech did against Florida State last week and, you know, this should be a fun game, very fun game that I'm going to definitely watch um, considering it's the only game at 3.30 that's worth mentioning and it, it, it just is what it is. As far as my alma mater. I got my I got my U T shirt on right here. We are taking on SMU, our supposed rivals. Even though there is really not a rival for U T right now, like SMU has just dominated this series all time. You know, that bid to at least that bid to at least one SMU U T game. You know, at Apogee, um, and that game will kick off at six Eastern. On CBS Sports Network, I will be watching that one immediately after the U.S. UC, yeah, um, to say yeah, USF Notre Dame game goes off. I'll keep that on my radar. You know, if one of the games early goes, 
bad, I'm going to switch it to the Notre Dame game, and then, you know, after that, keep it on the North Texas game, and then um, we'll talk about this last one here that I'm going to talk about right now. That is the Louisville Cardinal taking on the Eric. <laughs> and the, you know, those Miami Hurricanes. So the Louisville Cardinal, Miami Hurricanes, Miami did not, they, they put up 500 yards against UAB, but they looked kind of lethargic at times, to be completely honest with you. Um, Louisville hasn't played a game yet, you know, uh, that's worth mentioning anyway. I think they played Western Kentucky last week and just blew them out, so it doesn't really matter. This is really this is really the beginning for them, you know, as far as conference play goes and things like that. And it should be very interesting um, for both these teams. You know, both have a lot to prove. You know, Miami coming off a disappointing season. Louisville, you know, wants to improve off the season they had last year. And it should be fun as the nightcap originally this was supposed to be either this game or, you know, or Virginia, Virginia Tech. But again, Virginia, Virginia Tech got canceled and moved up, you know, to a later date. So there's that. And if you want some after dark shenanigans, this week's after dark shenanigans goes back to UTEP where they'll be taking on Abilene Christian. And that's at 9 o'clock. So. That's 9 Eastern anyway. So if you want some after dark shenanigans, there is that. We have plenty more, you know. We had Kansas after dark. We've already had UTEP after dark once. Um, we're going to have, you know, we had SCS kickoff after dark because that game kicked off very late. We should have made a hashtag about that. Uh, yeah. Again, there could be some changes, and, you know, the Big Ten is voting this week's whether to play games again in October, stuff like that, for like an eight weeks and nine, for like an eight-week season or something like that, eight games in nine weeks is what I meant to say. But, yeah, and players are still opting out. There's players from Ohio State opting out now. It's just hard to keep up with everything, so I'm going to keep it all in this nice one little bow wrap it up and you know as far as new subscribers come on down to the comment section comment like share subscribe do all that good stuff i've seen some people come over from uncle lou um and he's a great guy I used to subscribe to him but now i do not so there you have it everybody y'all take care and we'll see you tonight to recap week one of the nfl season which I, i'm going to be angry about at some point because there's a lot of things about week one that angered me and it's not just my Dallas Cowboys so we'll see you later tonight and have a good rest of your afternoon